Right, good afternoon and welcome to this week's video. A little bit of an overview video today. So today we're going to be taking a look at the tent box awning room. So there's two sizes of the tent box awning room. The first is the small, which is for cars up to 1.7 meters, and that retails at 345 pound. And the second is the large, which is for cars up to 2.2 meters, and that retails at 395 pounds. So it is quite a big investment. So a bit of a hack for the guy lines that come with the awning. So to make these fully adjustable, we need to do a rolling hitch. So we're gonna feed that line through the peg, bring that up, and then on your working end, you want about 20 centimeters, and then just feed that around the line twice, making that nice and tight, and then over the line, feed it through, and then pulling that nice and tight, cinching it up, you then have a fully adjustable and strong guy line. So the bag itself is a really, really durable bag. It's not the sort of bag that's gonna fall apart after using it two times. You've got two webbing buckles that you need to unclip and then a drawstring on the top. And then the first piece that comes out is the ground sheet. And then we've got the accessory hanger which hangs inside of the tent. And then we've got the peg bag. And now let's get the awning room out. Now installing the awning room, it is really, really easy. It basically fits onto the C-channel at the back of your awning and a C-channel on the front. There is a back and a front to this, so you do need to make sure you get this the right way around. And it's really, really easy to find out what is the front and what is the back. So the first thing you need to do is locate this piece here, which is the bit that runs into the C-channel. Now this one here is on a zipped piece here that is actually removable. And this is the bit that goes onto the front. So we'll roll this out and we orientate it so we can get it into the awning. first thing we're going to do is remove this piece completely and there's two sides to this piece so you've got a shiny side and then you've got the matte side so we're going to run this through the C channel up here so the next thing you need to do is locate the C channel on the underside of your awning here which starts here so we're going to feed from this side going that way And then the next thing to do that I find is the easiest way to put this up as a single person putting this up is to start to attach it onto your vertical poles. And then all you need to do is connect this zip. And then next you've got the vertical pole clips. Pegs that come with the awning room are pretty, pretty heavy duty. So we're just gonna start off with four of these and just anchor out the corners. So these ones I find a little bit tricky to get in because you need to get behind the wheel, especially on my car, to actually draw these in. But what you can do is just put the peg in and then just adjust the webbing to get it tight. Thank you. 
So there we go, that is the tent box awning room all set up. Now I think you'll agree with me and say it does not look tidy. You know, tent box assure me that this is how it is. And I can understand in a way because you're trying to make a product that will fit all the different heights of different vehicles. Now let's open it up and I'll show you a few of the other issues that I've come across. Now talking about the doors, the doors are zipped on three sides so you can actually undo all of the zips pull open that door and then using two telescopic poles and some guy lines, you can actually pull these out as well to give you cover on three sides as well. So before we put the floor in, I just want to show you this part here. So this floor edge in here, so this has got the bottom part of your zips for your mosquito net and your door. And you've also got your little pullouts here as well to tie into the floor to make this uh, a little bit secure. Now, I don't need to use this because of the height, so this needs to be tucked underneath. Now there's a bit of an issue when it comes to facing the floor inside of this because if I want to pin the floor down, I've got no hole in this edge in here to push my peg in. Right, so let's get the floor in. So as you can see, these parts of the floor are stopping me from putting a peg through the ground sheet into the floor here. What I am gonna have to do is put an eyelet through this one and an eyelet through this one to be able to put a peg in to stop the ground sheet from blowing away. Right, so there we are, that is the awning room set up. Now, my head struggles with the fact that that back end is really, really loose. I can't deal with it, I really, really can't. I like fabric tight, guy lines that are straight and tight. I really, really struggle. But tent box assure me, it is how it is. So I'm not that impressed with it, to be perfectly honest, for the setup that I've got there. I personally think I could have gone down a size on this, but tent box assure me, it would have been too small. But then I've got all of that excess uh, floor rim there that I've had to tuck under the side there I'm not that impressed with that as well really to be perfectly honest because the ground sheet I can't peg down because I'm gonna to have to peg through the floor rims there as well and even if I put it underneath there and peg the floor down you're gonna have all of this loose sort of floor rim kicking about that is a bit of a trip hazard there so in general I love the idea of this thing I really really do I love the fact that you can completely enclose yourself in the mesh there and have the doors open I love the fact that the doors can actually be used as a little bit of shelter with the other telescopic poles there I do like the idea of that I mean it is something that I am going to use and I am going to be get get the full use out of it but I just think it could be tidied up a little bit I think one of the things that we could tidy this up a little bit is have some webbing on the back there with a couple of buckle loops so you can just cinch the back end up a little bit just to adjust so it's not so flapping around but hey ho it is what it is we've got it we're going to use it and let's enjoy the tent box awning room. And then once you're in the awning room, you can still access inside of the car with this zip that's here. So the other thing that comes with the tent box awning room is this gear pouch here. So you've got two webbing straps on the top of the gear pouch and that just clicks onto those pieces of webbing there and then you can just adjust it and that just can hang all of your gear inside of there. So there we go, that is the tent box awning room all set up on my Isuzu D-Max. If you've got any idea of how I can make this look a little bit more tidier, please do let me know in the comments below and also share some pictures of your setup as well. It is an absolute fantastic little bit of kit, but I just think it just needs a few more adjustment bits here and there just to make it fit all the different vehicles that it's supposed to fit a little bit more tidier. It is a really, really great room and it just does open up so many more opportunities for your camping. You can hide yourself away if the weather's really, really bad or on a night like tonight when the insects are out you can just shut the doors and hide yourself away it does also give you another option for another bedroom if you've got some little ones inside there as well but what an absolute fantastic bit of kit i'll stick a full link to the product in the description below my name's martin and if you're new to the channel then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time on the next one